Oh my goodness, his robotic support bay about to go down as well. What is he doing? He's bringing his carriers over, but he does not have uh, the Reavers in the meantime to, to take care of that. And in the meantime, his main forces, he's brought all of his carriers back to his main base uh, to wipe up just these Zerglings. He's lost almost all of his, he's lost all of his important tech buildings. And in the meantime, uh, whoa, nice storm, nice storm on those. Mulus, uh, that may have bought him some critical time. He may be able to save this base directly in the long run with those storms here. Just down to one uh, Hydralisk and one Mutalisk left. One Hydralisk left. Hydralisk versus Cannon. Who will win? Cannon wins. So those beautiful storms saving much his base. And uh, that was a really good setup by Luxury, though. He's positioning his Air Force in an intercept course uh, so that if much tried to bring his forces back then uh, to defend that bottom right base, he'd be able to intercept and engage. Uh, but... Um, uh, it just didn't quite work. Those few good storms being able to take out uh, uh, most of the forces in time. And, oh, man, you know what? Where are all of his Corsairs? Where are much of his Corsairs? Okay, there's his Corsairs catching up there. He's got the Arbors with him as well, and that is going to be huge because now uh, now he's going to have to try and bring Overlords with all of his forces. He may be able to scourge the... Oh, he scourges one, two. Stasis goes off over a ton of the... The Devourers, and that's going to slow down his force a lot. That's going to reduce a lot of his effectiveness. There are a lot of Devourers in that stasis field, basically cutting uh, Luxury's army in half, and he's he's not evacuating his second half of his army. He's just trying to delay to try and take out that base as much as he's taking out a lot of probes here. This is turning an absolutely crazy, ridiculous game. This is absolutely phenomenal. Um, a ton of Scourges coming in now uh, to try and wipe up these forces which are slowed down. They're not ensnared, but I think there's just too few Corsairs and they're too occupied with the Devourers right now. The Scourges coming in! Scourges! Oh my god, a ton of Scourges getting in! They take out one carrier! Only one carrier, critically. It may have taken out a Corsair or two as well, but the Scourge is not quite doing as much damage as they could have. I think he probably should have targeted those Corsairs instead uh, and reduced those numbers. And uh, now more cur a Scourges coming in, though. No Corsairs to defend them. Carriers going down left and right. Uh, the Corsairs separated over on the right-hand side of the base. In the meantime, Luxury has taken the entire rest of the map. Much is just fighting to defend his uh, bottom third of the map. Luxury has taken the entire rest of the map. He does not have the 12 o'clock base yet. But uh, at this point, it, it, you know, it's not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, he's taken every other base. He's taken that middle base. He's taken all the uh, bases on the other spawn location in the top right. Um, and much looks to be in trouble now. He's been fighting valiantly, fighting extremely hard, but just slowly and steadily he's been worked down uh, just throughout the course of the last several minutes. Um, he's been, you know, holding out and holding out and holding out and holding out, but um, not quite able to accomplish enough and not quite able to hold off enough uh, to um, to save his bases. I mean, I mean, he's been winning the engagements. Uh, well, I, I don't want to... He's been holding... I wouldn't say winning, I guess, but he's been surviving the engagements. But every time one of those engagements happens, he loses a few more buildings, and he loses a few more important units, and uh, he loses a few more probes. And it's just costing him in the long run, because his three main bases are probably about mined out by now, so he needs these, these bottom right bases. And uh, again, Stasis Field saving him, uh, taking out all those, Jesus, the entire squad of Devourers there. Unfortunately, the thing is, is he needs to have something there to actually take care of those Devourers when they... When they wake up, and oh, Luxury is, has opened up a little gap in those defenses there. And and critically, the the, the major thing here is that um, not much he, he doesn't have those Reavers anymore. And I'm not sure exactly where those Reavers went, but he had those Reavers, and he, he's not been able to defend against the ground forces at all because those Reavers have not been uh, anywhere to speak of. Uh, they may be uh, at his front door of his, uh, of his base here trying to defend that, but... Um, uh, I, I, I haven't seen them anywhere that they've been needed to be, basically. I mean, they haven't been in his main base there uh, to defend those Zerglings earlier. Uh, they were not here. It would have been a lot easier to defend those, those Hydralis and what have you uh, if he had those and uh, random Corsairs and Devourers pass, crossing each other's paths on move. Oh, no. That is a lot of Overlords. Actually, that may be because of the Arbiters. I thought he had a... No, he does have a drop. He's dropping units in there. Uh, random feudal Zergling attack at the main base. Uh, that's where some of the, the Reavers are. I guess Much really doesn't want to lose his main base here while this is all going on. He's trying to... He doesn't want to get attacked in the rear, I guess, like he did and lose more tech buildings, what have you, because that would that would be devastating. Even though he doesn't have any minerals uh, in his main base, he would just be losing too many tech buildings and um, 
and pylons and what have you, and uh, he would be dead after that. But now here come the Zerglings, another attack, and they are going to take out this base this time. There's just too many there. He needed a ton of Reavers or Templar there to take care of this, and he just did not have it. Both players just trying to kill each other off as quickly as possible at this point. Much is not bringing his forces back. Okay, now, now that he's taken out that base at the uh, 9 o'clock, I'm sorry, 3 o'clock position, he is bringing back his carriers to try and take care of Oh, Scourge is coming in! They may be able to take out... No, Corsair is saving, saving those uh, carriers just in time. And you can see that much as um, Corsair count has just been diminished slowly and steadily throughout the course of this game. He's down to, um, it looks like a dozen... Um, Corsairs now, and he's just not been able to build them up again. Uh, yeah, about a dozen there, maybe a few more. But uh, man, all he has is these carriers to deal with these links and interceptors. Although there's a ton of them, they can only get one hit in at a time on these zerglings. Luckily, the disruption web is keeping them from being terribly effective, so they're not quite able to break through completely effective. Otherwise, those gateways would have been completely gone. And nicely done by much critical, critical disruption webs saving his butt there. Only a few cannons go down. Uh, and his base actually stays intact. Um, wow, okay, Luxury actually mined out. They're, they're going around looking at how much minerals are left at Luxury's bases here. Uh, the, and as they show, he still does have that um, 12 o'clock location that he can uh, go to. So uh, there there is that still. Uh, although I don't know if, I mean, obviously he's research uh, drop tech. I don't know if he's uh, planning on taking that. Um, but... Man, if, if Much can starve Luxury out, though, like I said, he's been kind of holding out this whole time. If theoretically he could starve Luxury out, he may be able to stand a chance in the long run. No, oh, here comes some Swarm. Here comes some Swarm. Swarm with the Zerglings. And so those Zerglings are basically immune to everything Much has because he doesn't have those Reavers. There's no Reavers to speak of. And so this whole base is now going to get destroyed because of the lack of... He does have a couple... Uh, uh, Templar there. Let's see if he can storm those Zerglings. He's not casting it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> His entire Air Force getting stasis. And uh, nicely done by much targeting it so he didn't catch any of his own Corsairs or anything like that. Plague going off on the carriers now. And that is huge. They're, that reduces their hit points. Well, it reduces their hit points to almost nothing. But, uh, I mean, it, it, they don't have a lot of shields. I think 150 shields below those, uh, uh, in, in addition to those hit points. Jesus Christ, Luxury just throwing everything at much, just throwing the kitchen sink at him. Guardians, Devourers, um, uh, Zerglings, Hydralisks, Dark Swarm, uh, Plague. Uh, he doesn't have any Queens in here anymore for some reason, but um, th those would have been nice too. But, but uh, oh, Dark Templars, oh, can he hold the door? Dark Templars, Cloaked Templars on the ramp. It looks like he was able to hold that ramp by just uh, kind of stopping it up. Uh, there's no Overlords in the area, and... Um, Actually, some Zerglings are sneaking through now, but it's just not enough. Oh, nice. Again, Plague going off. And uh, the Plague does make Dark Templar and other Cloak units uh, visible when they go off. Oh, nice, nice. Luxury not paying attention gets half of his Devourers 